Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Monday. I'm heading out to Skin Doctor Clinic. It's Dr. Selena's skin clinic in London. It's where I normally get all my filler and things done. However, don't freak out, I'm not getting any more filler. <laughs> I'm actually going to get high food. I think that's how you say it, which is a non-invasive, non-filler ultrasound technology machine that basically can tighten up areas so i'm gonna get it on my jaw i don't really remember the last time i had jaw filler i was actually thinking this last night like i know you guys are all convinced that i have a full face of filler um i'm just sitting down here but i haven't had well i have my cheeks dissolved and actually it's quite funny i saw this picture last night it came up in my iphone memories of my cheeks before i had any filler in them at all and they're very prominent so i just want to show you Lord, this picture. But this is my cheeks. Wait. That's my cheeks before I had any filler done. I think, yeah, the only thing I have there is um, my lips done. So I did always have really nice big cheeks. Don't really know why I had filler in them in the first place, to be honest. Like, I guess it's just one of those things you learn as you go. And definitely, I'm the kind of person that likes to go all in and then learn the lessons for myself. So anyway, I have my cheeks dissolved. Obviously, I'm going to have my lips done forever. Um, I haven't had my tear troughs done in, I think, like, over a year. haven't had my jaw done in over a year. So the only recent filler that I've actually had is lips, which I love, and chin, because I have quite a short chin, so I kind of get it elongated, which I think gives my face a nice kind of sweetheart um, shape. And then all I really do is Botox now as well. So I get Botox in my forehead and Botox in my masseter. So anyway, I've been looking into this treatment called Haifu, I'm going to read out what it says. Haifu uses concentrated ultrasound energy which is delivered to the skin by a handheld device. A Haifu treatment can help in cell renewal, creating more collagen and overall tissue rejuvenation. Laxity in skin improves, resulting in a tighter, firmer, lifted look to enhance a more youthful looking skin. So it sounds really nice. Like I say, it's not invasive, it's not sore, there's no needles, it's just ultrasound technology. Um, I just think it would be nice to kind of see if it'll help tighten up all this because obviously under here this like spongy and slightly double chin there that cannot be fixed with filler like that's not in the desert thing that's not in an area that filler can really help filler obviously can go along the line and i have it in my chin but this double chin under here this is hereditary and this is just a little bit looser so i feel like it'd be nice to try see if it um helps and if i enjoy it and then it's a bonus because then i don't need to get not that I need to get filler at all in my jaw right now, but I need to get it again, ever. Um, if I can do this, which is a non-invasive, non-foreign foreign object in your body. Um, I think I've touched on this before, but I am definitely stepping back from fillers quite a bit. I think since my cheeks weren't funny, honestly, I think I just got fright. And now I'm kind of like, I don't need all of it done. Also, with the fact that I've put on a bit of weight and I'm getting older, my face has changed shape anyway. Like, it's a lot less gaunt looking. Um... It's a lot fuller naturally, and I just feel like I don't need the filler that I used to get. So yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> I'm gonna go and get that done. I will take you with me. I'm also gonna get a patch test for laser hair removal because I really wanna get my bikini, not just my bikini line, but like a full Hollywood <laughs> laser hair removal down there, um, which I think will just be game changing. Anybody I've spoke to that has had that done is like, it's the best thing ever. So I'm gonna get a patch test for that, which would be nice. It's so handy having Dr. Selena's clinic in London. It means that I can go and get all these treatments done because before she'd only ever do like clinic visits. So she'd be up like twice, a couple times a month. Um, and you could only really get like fillers or Botox or like things. She didn't really have all like the machines that she has up in her uh, clinics up north. So now she has all of her machines down in London, which is great. Okay, my cattle just arrived. And I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but I love watching what people buy for the weekly shop. So I'm going to run you through mine. It's not a full weekly shop because I do have some bits already in the fridge. But anyway, some veg, of course, which is pretty boring. This rhubarb clean coat, somebody messaged me and said they tried it and it was amazing. So I thought I'd pick it up. It's non-alcoholic. Normally I have the, like, just the normal one. This is rhubarb. So we'll try that. Some olive oil. Peppers. These are the best snacks ever. They're vegan. They're like, kind of like vegan watsits, I'd say. I love them. Percy pigs are essential, pistachios for bunny. These are the things I thought looked 
good. These are also my absolute favourite things in the whole world, honestly. It's so good. I think these might be vegan as well. I don't know. Um, this salmon from MS. I have it literally every single day for lunch. I'm obsessed. This is actually really good. I only had it last week, but it's kind of like my new Friday night if I don't want to be super unhealthy, but want something that's like carby, you know? Yummy. Carrots, one for me, one for Biggie, pineapple, cucumber, Dalesford hummus is the best hummus you will ever try in your life. It's so creamy. Um, cotton candy grapes. Guys, is this a new thing or is this me just discovering it recently? But, excuse me. Um, these taste so good. I had these for like three weeks non-stop and then I had normal grapes again and now I don't like normal grapes. Try these. Um, these little thing bobbers, mochis, mochis, whatever they're called. Um, love them. I didn't like them when I first tried them. Really didn't get the hype at all. And then had a couple like over the last couple months and now I'm obsessed. So these ones are my favourite, salted caramel. And then I picked up these ones to try. Dash waters, 0% Corona, sweet corn, I think. Oh yeah, and this. This was actually meant to be lemon, but they've given me grapefruit, which um, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we'll find out later. And that is my shop. my appointment I'm looking a little bit patchy because I have my makeup removed there um but it was actually a really lovely treatment so the actual name is called new era so there's high food and new era pretty much the same exact thing um so it's a six session appointment two weeks in between really really pleasant experience it's just kind of like a actually you've seen some clips it's kind of like that plate that was going around my face is like warm so it was just like a really nice like kind of facial um also she did half my face and then showed me the mirror and she hadn't done the other half i i don't know i don't think you can tell so clearly in the video but the side that she'd done i swear my whole face was like it was wild like my jaw line was like higher than on this side my cheeks were like higher than on this side and then my face just looked similar so i was very impressed um but obviously i'm gonna stick to doing the full course i think i paid about one thousand let me get the exact price for you guys. I'm literally sat over my little heater in here. It's so cold in this office. Um, okay, let me see what I paid. So I paid 1,250, which is a lot of money, but you do the six week, um, the six session course, and then you just have to do a top up. I think it was like a couple times a year, she said, if you want or if you need. So, yeah, a bit of an investment now. I feel excited to see how it works. I feel like I could already see some results. I mean, it's not going to be a dramatic, like, oh my God, crazy result. I can make my jaw just that little bit neater and tighter um, without actually doing anything invasive, then I'm all here for it. So, of course, I'll bring you along on the six-week journey. I am going to get some before and after shots. Um, so I'll take, I forgot to do them this morning, but I'll take a shot now and then we can compare it to six weeks time and I can give you my feedback on that. So it's the next day. I have had a very busy work day with Isabella, very productive, which has been good. And now you're never going to believe it. I am parked up about five minutes from my house <laughs> because I'm going to Pilates, which I'm very excited about if I can find where it is. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited. One of my goals this year was to get back into fitness and eat healthy and take care of myself. So the other night I found this Pilates studio, which is literally around the corner of my house. Like I definitely could have walked. I booked myself in for a one-on-one -on -one session. So yeah, I'm excited. I probably will not take you in there just because it's my first ever session. Like it's a little bit awkward the first time. Um, but I'll let you know how it goes afterwards. I think I'm going to like it. I hope I'm going to like it because I'm so not wanting to do like hit workout or like have a pt like i used to like i did enjoy it but i feel like there were so many days where i was like i just don't want to do this like i just didn't enjoy it whereas i feel like pilates or yoga or even like bar class is something that i do enjoy and it's just a little bit slower really really like tones you um and yeah obviously like there's this huge hype for pilates at the minute and i did do a couple home sessions at home last year by a couple I mean like every other day for about three weeks and then I gave up and I think it's because I'm doing it on my own I don't know if my posture's right like I don't have the motivation 
but paying for a one-on-one -on -one session I think will be the key to get me to stick to it. So I have a session in 15 minutes. I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and like mentally prepare and then yeah I'll let you know how it goes. Really enjoyed it, it was really fun. It was just me and the lady, so that was nice. Um, I'm super unflexible and super unfit, like it's actually a joke, but I can feel like my body aching already, which is great. Um, so I'm gonna try and go twice a week. Um, we'll see how that goes, but feeling very happy. Good morning, so I'm just getting ready to head out the door and go to puppy yoga, which I'm so excited about. It's with LTK and the Pang, I don't know how you say it, I need to figure it out today. I think it's called the Pang Pangaya or Pangia, but it's a really cool kind of like athleisure wear brand. Um, so I have this really nice oversized, very soft white hoodie on, which is cute. And then I also have these matching shorts, which are actually really nice. Like the set's really flattering. If you guys remember, I have like that little Ganny set, um, but the top is like a t-shirt. It's like the same fit as the Ganny set, but with a hoodie. Journey's gonna take me about an hour, so definitely not wearing the shorts on the way there. So I've just chucked on some old gray Anina Bing joggers and then cashmere socks from the white company. And I'm gonna stick on my Isabel Morant trainers. I'm actually also going for lunch with Lauren afterwards. She's gonna be at the event, so we're nice to see her, and then we're gonna go for lunch. So definitely don't wanna be cutting around London in minus degrees in a pair of shorts. <laughs> and over the top, I'm chucking on this big sour coat, and I feel like I should be warm enough. I also have a little Napco bra and Skims tank top on underneath, so fingers crossed this will <laughs> keep me warm. It feels weird going out to an event in joggers, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> and then tonight I have an event with Rodeo as well, which would be really nice. Um, a dinner event. So yeah, quite a nice day, quite a nice social day. I'm going to see Freya tonight as well, so it's very much a friend day, which is nice. I'll just show you this outfit quickly, then I'm going to pack up my bag and head off. Okay, so here is the look all together. And I've got my big Sandra bag, which I'm absolutely loving. It fits so much. It's definitely like a Mary Poppins bag. I just put everything in here. Maybe I should get an organizer for it, you know, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch you when I've got a hundred puppies running around. <laughs> arrived at my front door. How delicious do these look? Little cupcakes from Hummingbird Bakery. Okay, so it's Friday. I haven't actually spoken to you in a couple of days. I think the last time I spoke to you was puppy yoga and then my cupcakes this morning. Um, anyway, I have a really big, huge box in here of PR. And also, because I know you're gonna ask, this jumper is from Reese. I absolutely love it. I've got actually quite a few new bits in from there. I'm actually working with Reese over on Instagram, which is an absolute dream. So I feel very, very chuffed about that. Okay, let's start unboxing some bits from, actually first. <laughs> first, I need a dash water. I am addicted. This first one is from a brand that I've never heard of before, but they reached out and Asked if I'd like to receive anything, and honestly, they have the most gorgeous bits. It's from a brand called Kitsch, um, Kitsch Beauty, and they do all like really lovely aesthetic, like wellness things for your hair, for your body. So they do like dry. I've got some in here, so like a dry brush for your body, um, silk pillowcases, silk eye masks, scrunchies. It's just a really beautiful brand. I don't know how I've never heard of them before because it is everything that I love. Um, so they sent me a selection, I think it's some of like their best sellers. First of all, this gorgeous scrunchie. Love a scrunchie, it's actually beautiful. Got a satin pillowcase. Oh, is it not silk? Hmm. Okay, it 
it's not silk, but I feel like this still does the same thing for your hair. So with my hair, because I have extensions in, I mean, I've always slept on, or not at the minute, but I always try to sleep on silk pillowcases, use um, silk hair bubbles. I also now use a silk hair turban just to stop any like friction against my extensions and against my hair. So this is a satin pillowcase and then a new eye mask. This is a really big one. Can you see? This is the kind of one Johnny wears, like it's a really thick one, so it goes all round rather than just your eyes. Then a dry, a dry brush. This is very soft. Um, and basically, there are so many benefits. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna find out and tell you right now. <laughs> Removes dead skin cells, prevents ingrown hairs. I didn't know that. So it massages and exfoliates whilst helping to promote lymphatic drainage and detox the skin, which is the one I kind of knew about. Stimulates healthy blood circulation. So yeah, this is what it looks like from RMS Beauty. It's called Lip to Cheek. Um, so it's just like a little blush and lip product, which I think is really cute, very handy. Yeah, it's really nice. Really lovely. Soft, nudie pink. I will do my makeup with you soon on a vlog and we can test out some new makeup. I know I haven't actually also report back on the um, By Terry tan like the tea to tan i actually really like it definitely would not wear it on its own in england it will look amazing on the beach just to give that extra bit of color it next up i've been so excited about this it's a lovely delivery from eight and bob who are a perfume brand it's the coolest stuff it comes in a book and then in the middle of the book is the perfume so i first smelled this in marbella when i was probably like 17 and i actually bought it for my ex-boyfriend because um, I loved it so much and then when I first met Johnny I didn't really know what to get him I think it was like his birthday or something didn't know what to get him and I was thinking what's nice like what would be nice anyway I was like oh my god Aiden Bob that's a really nice perfume I just want to tell him that I got it for my ex and I got it for him and he loved it as well oh my god it smells so good <laughs> oh god I forgot how good this is this is bringing me back to like when me and Johnny first met. Highly recommend it, it's so good. And like I say, the packaging is just really cool. Like I just think it's such a lovely gift. Also sent the, I guess this is like the female one, which I've never smelled before. I've never smelled anything from Eight and Bob apart from that original perfume. Really do have the most gorgeous packaging. Like, isn't that just lovely? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What does that smell like? I just had to get Google app because the last two videos of you guys and me trying to explain perfumes to you it's just not working out so the first thing i thought i smelled was orange and i'm right because there's mandarin in it okay top notes mandarin fig and hazelnut heart notes tuberose immortelle and ylang ylang and base notes cedarwood sandalwood and vanilla so very feminine but very kind of heavy which i like and um, but then it still smells fresh because you definitely get the citrus in it really really nice so this perfume i got you remember i got you this when we first met i sent it for you I know, no, you can't see me, I moved. <laughs> Come and smell it. It takes me back to when we were first dating. It's very nice. It is good, isn't it? There's so many smells going on in here. Though. I know, well, I just sprayed the women's one. Do you want to smell that? Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Oh, that's not that cat. It's that bad that I sent it. No. That's really nice. It's good, isn't it? That. Well, that's my one. Well, we can swap, but... I feel like this one's sexy. Happy Valentine's Day. It's interesting that Johnny liked that woman's perfume because he doesn't usually love all the perfumes that I wear, especially the really, really heavy ones or like the granny ones, like Chanel number no. five. I just think it smells like an old lady. Good morning, guys. It's now Sunday. We're leaving in about three hours. I have not packed anything. I feel a bit stressed. Normally I would have packed yesterday. I would pack the day before I go away. Yesterday, I don't know what happened. I went to Pilates in the morning. 45 minute session, hour session. Absolutely fine. Actually, it wasn't absolutely fine. It hurt so bad <laughs> from my session earlier in the week. But anyway, I went to it, had a really lovely session, came back, showered, got ready. And then I just fell asleep on the sofa, like all day. Like literally could not function. I was so tired. I said a few vlogs ago that I did that blood test because I thought I might have an iron deficiency, but that came back fine. I need to go to a proper doctor because I'm fine now, but like yesterday it was like, cannot function tired, like just wiped out. And also on Saturday night, I had literally a glass of wine that was like this big. So I didn't even have a full glass, like that was it. Um, didn't go to bed late, like I don't know what it is, it's just wild. Johnny's convinced it's because 
I'd had a workout. <laughs> but I refuse, refuse to believe that a 45 minute workout made me sleep for like 10 hours at night time and then like two, two hour naps. So like, it was just ridiculous. Like I don't, I can't believe that it was from the workout. So um, I even don't feel right right now, you know, like I do feel just a bit like hazy. But anyway, we move. Otherwise, I feel good. I've got a Joe and the Juice apple mint ginger. So I'm just having this and I'm going to start packing. <laughs> I'm only going away for three days, so it shouldn't be too hard to pack. Um, we're doing dinner for Valentine's night. And then, like, tonight we're just going to stay in the cabin. And have I told you where we're going? We're going to Farmhouse. Anyway, I'm going to finish this vlog by doing a little pack with me. Very quick pack with me. And then next vlog will be... Um, or trip. Did a net porter order. No, I love my sleeper pajamas, the feather ones. Been waiting for this colorway to come back in stock since like six months ago, I swear. But they're this lovely, like gorgeous soft pink with the feathers in the bottom. I thought they'd be so cute. I mean, I wear them. I wear my black ones all the time. So yes, these are a little bit more expensive, but I think they're so worth the money. They're so cute. And obviously the shirt as well. So I'm going to pack that. Okay, this is the second piece I bought. This is the piece I might send back. Um, there's a pair, okay, right. The story is I saw a collage, like an outfit collage on my Explore feed on Instagram. And then I was like, that's a really nice cord. Found the brand, Lisa, Lisa Yang. Um, went on the website, realized it was ridiculous money. So then went on Net-A-Porter because net porter sale is just insane. They actually had the trousers that I liked in the sale for 50% off only in a size zero, which I think I'm a size one now. So I ordered the zero just to check. And then the jumper that I thought would look nice with it wasn't in the sale and wasn't on net porter um, And because I was ordering this next day, because I'm the kind of person, if I find something that I like, then I want it straight away and I want to wear it straight away. So I ordered this on Friday night and it came Saturday. Like I say, I was asleep all day yesterday, so it didn't even open it. Um, anyway, I saw this jumper that was on net porter same brand, Lisa Yang, and it says it's the same color which I thought was gorgeous. You know, the quality is just stunning. It is also 100% cashmere and I just loved it. But I don't tend to wear a style like this too often. So if this doesn't look nice with the trousers or the trousers don't fit, they're both going back. These are the trousers in the color sand. Very simple, just really, really nice wide trousers. I actually think these are gonna fit quite nice, you know. The only thing is they did say they were intended to be worn on the hip, whereas I like a high waist. Okay, these are actually really, really nice. Gorgeous fit. Are we camel toying a little bit? Or does it look nice? Okay, these are actually stunning and actually like the perfect length. Probably could have worn the sides up and um, would have probably given me more material around here. But I don't feel like these look too small. Now for the jumper, it feels so nice. Feels very, very luxurious. Really, really like this. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Shit. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so nice. These are actually both called sand. Would you say they're the same colour? Yeah, I think they are just different um stitchings. Let me show you in the mirror. Okay, here you go. That is Stunning. Oh God, I don't know why I always do this to myself. I could order stuff and I'm like, nah, that won't be that won't be nice enough to keep. And then I get it and I'm like, that's actually stunning. I love it. It's so nice with little Chloe trainers. And of course, if you wanted to put like a little top. Actually, I mean this looks quite cute. This is just a little um sports bra from Hollister. But I feel like even that's cute. Oh, sugar. Okay, well. Happy Valentine's to me, this is my present. <laughs> anyway, that's all that I got from Netta Porter. So now I'm gonna crack on with packing. I've got some new bits pulled from Reese. Oh my God, I didn't show you any of these. So many nice bits from Reese, guys. Like you're actually gonna be obsessed. Go over to my Instagram and watch the reel I just put up today. Um, hopefully this goes up on Sunday. Otherwise it'll be like a recent reel. But anyway, they just have the most insane pieces. So I'm definitely taking basically all of these with me. We have some organized mess going on and pretty much packed, I think. Pulled a couple of day outfits, couple of date night looks, loungewear. The last thing I really need to do is pull some laundry out of my 
laundry bag. This is the laundry company that I use called London Laundry Company. London, London Laundry Club, they're honestly like game changing. I cannot live without them. So I can go through and grab out some bits. Everything comes folded and organized and like separated out. So like that's all my towels, face wipes, like face towels. Then I've got one for like my pajama bottoms and my pajama tops. It's just so happy. So I need to pull pajamas I'm actually gonna sleep in <laughs> because my fluffy ones, I'm oh, sorry, my feather pajamas are I don't sleep in them, obviously. So I have these really cute little ones from Napco. These are actually from their Valentine's collection. Little gingham, very, very lovely, like lightweight cotton. So I feel like these would be really nice. Then I also want to take some loungewear that isn't nice, nice loungewear because Biggie is coming as well. So I need some loungewear that I can wear when I'm cuddling him. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these ones from Mango, which I really like. They're like really nice, like slinky elasticated, very cute. Got some new packing cubes from Amazon. If you haven't used packing cubes before, get them. They are honestly game changing. I know it doesn't seem like they'd actually do much, but they condense so many clothes into each cube. And it's just so easy when you're unpacking, like it's my jumpers, it's my trousers, ETC. Figure out what I'm gonna wear traveling it's the only thing that i'm not sure about i have like three options <laughs> kind of depends if i'm going to fake tan or not if i fake tan then i have to wear something dark anyway i'm taking two of my reese knits i love these so much i've got the white one which is covered in makeup on the inside but you can't see it on the outside um these are just so handy so cozy they're actually a cashmere mix as well so will be perfect for little doggy walks and things like that and this is my new one same style but in the camel it's gorgeous also taking this h&m dress that i showed you guys in a couple of videos i showed you it in the was it a valentine's video i think anyway it's a really gorgeous maxi knitted dress so i'm gonna wear this one night with heeled boots and a belt around my waist and a big jacket i think that'll look nice i'm gonna wear it like i showed you taking this little mango ribbed set matching top also taking some leggings these are from reese i don't think they actually do them anymore but the spanx ones are very similar so i'll link them down below then i'm gonna pop my final jumper also from reese this is uh navy and camel actually i might wear this traveling if i fake tan so i'm gonna leave that one out but otherwise that's gonna go in there as well this packing cube has like a suitcase drawstring in it which is really handy okay i feel like i could put so much more in here That's all my knitwears, plus a lounge set, plus my leggings, and I can definitely fit, I mean, definitely fit like another full knit in there. So if I'm not gonna wear this one, it'll go in there. Next cube, I'm gonna put in trousers into this one. So my cubes are all in, which is basically everything for my clothes. I'm gonna wear this little lounge set. I just need to put in jackets and shoes and toiletries, which are here and here. Okay, so I'm as packed as I can physically be right now. I um, am waiting to go downstairs and finish up getting things like the dog stuff and my vitamins and all that jazz. Johnny is just filming some stuff right now, so I can't go downstairs. So pretty much all ready to go. I did also pop on a layer of fake tan and I need to fix my hair because it's a mess but yeah i'm pretty much good to go so you know what i think i'm gonna leave the vlog here um i am gonna vlog my trip but i just feel like i want to get this up and sorted before i head off this afternoon so you guys can watch this tonight so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all next week bye